air because the CHP is cracking down on drivers this holiday weekend, looking for anyone who may be on the road breaking the law. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores is in Fort Tejon tonight with the CHP and tells us what officers will be looking for. Tonight on the Friday before Christmas is when maximum enforcement period goes into effect. So tonight I'm going to be riding along with Officer Williams. He's going to show us what MEP is all about. As Californians hit the road for holiday travel, the California Highway Patrol begins its Christmas maximum enforcement period. We're basically out in full force, um, enforcing the laws and ensuring that the public can get where they need to get to safely. Beginning at 6 p.m. Friday, December 22nd, and continuing through midnight on Monday, Christmas Day. Expect a crackdown on violations like distracted driving. We just came from two crashes where people were in a hurry to get where they're going. And when that happens, people start lane changing, People start following too closely, and that's when the accidents happen. And of course, CHP will be focusing on speeding. See the car in the fast lane, doing about 90. Stop you for your speed. You see a license, registration, insurance. Yeah, and behind you, 91 miles an hour, speed limit through 65. Okay, and that's what that's what the maximum enforcement is. Is we're out here trying to slow people down, make sure people are driving safely. Uh, taking the necessary enforcement action to ensure the modern public can get to where they need to go safely. During last year's Christmas MEP, CHP reports 23 people died in collisions, half of which were not wearing a seatbelt. Another focus for MEP, driving under the influence. It's because it's an extended weekend, so people are off work, and yes, there's a lot of holiday parties going on. During the 2016 Christmas MEP, CHP arrested 621 people for driving under the influence. Once again, it goes back to making sure the roadways, roadways are safe, so we're doing everything we can to make sure that they're safe and everybody has a good holiday. A reminder to be on your best behavior on the road this weekend. At Fort Tejon, Alyssa Flores, 23 ABC.